Should Andy remove herself from the middle of Karen and Fatima drama at this point, y'all? This photographer is sisters, if you don't know, if, if you watch it and everything. Okay, so there's been a debate online, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. <laughs> people are, you know, it's a whole lot. I've actually seen some people who actually like Karen and stuff like that. I said, I don't see no problem with it. I don't like that she started pushing up on Zach and stuff. But I thought last week, well, was it last week? Or whatever week that was, that they had made progress. So... I'm like, okay, when they hugged and everything, I'm like, okay, they made progress. That was actually very nice or whatever. Now this mess don't start it and stuff. So, you know, that's up for this debate at this point. But, yeah, um, I've seen a lot of people debating it, and they were saying um, Karen can't be mad. Andy can be friends with whoever she wants to be friends with. Stop, Abby. Andy can be friends with whoever she wants to be friends with and everything, and Karen can't be mad. And then they brought up how Fatima has had Andy's back and stuff. And shockingly, they actually showing that next week where um, Andy is telling Karen, um, she has had my back and stuff. And Karen was like, so have I. And I was like, she got a point there. Now, on this this situation that recently happened, you know, the whole taking a picture. What was that? The whole taking a picture and um, having her, having it look like she did it. Well, I ain't going to say that because Fatima never said it. Fatima keeps saying this photo didn't come for her and everything. But in this situation... I would have to say that I'm on Karen's side in this situation because I feel like an opportunity was presented to Andy to say, uh-uh, since she's telling me to promise not to tell Karen, it has to do with her. Since it has to do with her, she's also my friend, my best friend. She's been my best friend, so I can't keep nothing from her. When she said, promise you're not going to tell Karen, I feel like Andy should have said, I feel like Andy should have said, no, if it's going to be concerning her, no, I'm, I'm going to remove myself. Um, if it comes out and I find out then from her or whoever, then I find out. But I'm going to remove myself. And I just thought about that part. I just thought about that part. Um, after all these reviews I done did, I said, you know what? Andy is kind of in the wrong in this situation because when she told her to promise you're not going to say anything to Karen, that should have been her, the moment. I mean, if it had been something that didn't concern Karen, then yeah. But if you sitting up here showing that they had been hugging and you kind of, I ain't going to say she implying that she had something to do with it or she implying that Karen was pushing up on him. I said, they actually had a nice moment. But now all this, they fighting this stuff. And I said, I don't know. We won't know until they reveal it. It might actually be revealed that that uh, she did have something to do with it. I'm hoping they don't because they're making Karen go out differently than, when you take a look at season one, I was like, Karen wasn't acting like this in season one. And I said, what did they do to her character? And I've seen some more people saying the same thing. But yeah, I said, in this situation, I'm on Karen's side because when Fatima said, promise that you're not going to tell, that you're not going to tell Karen and everything, she's supposed to say, no. She said, I promise. So now she's telling her at Karen house that someone sent a picture of her hugging Zach. First of all, she said somebody sent a picture of her hugging Zach. But during the whole thing, conversation with Fatima, the lady said... Um, maybe it's an old photo and not everything. Cause you know, Fatima, Fatima thought they was kissing. So she was like, maybe that's an old photo. Now she's talking about hugging or whatever. So I was like, no, it's said, um, keep that same energy about kissing and stuff. Like what you were saying. Cause she was like, maybe it's an old photo. That's what she was telling Fatima. So I was like, this is why they need, need to have a sit down conversation. And that's my personal opinion. I feel like they, why kids be making noise every time? <laughs> Don't nobody be talking. Listen, when you decide to record, if you're a YouTuber or decide to be a YouTube or a content creator, the whole house or wherever you at will be quiet. The minute you decide to press that red button, noise, look, fire trucks be coming, <laughs> fire trucks be coming on the uh, road, um, people next door be slamming the door and stuff, just all random noise, but yeah, um, this is why I said, hold on y'all. This is why I said they need to have a sit-down conversation. She need to sit them both down and say, look, I care about both of y'all. Y'all both my friends. Karen, you have been my best friend. Um, don't ever think that I wouldn't have your back, but it is time for you to move on from Zach and stuff like that. For Timo, you just came, but you have had my back um, just as much as anybody. You don't say, who knows, maybe she saved her life. You know, in the garage when they was fighting and stuff, she pulled a gun on the girls and um reaching out with her connects to see sabrina just everything she has had her back but i said in this situation well yeah let me finish my thought first she needs to have a sit down conversation with them and say if we're gonna be friends i want to be friends with both of y'all but y'all gonna have to if y'all got issues with each other then that's with each other y'all work that out on your own do not call me do not text me do not contact me telling me nothing about the other person if y'all do that we're gonna have a problem within this friendship 
Because you can't be, because then, like I said last night on the video I did, there have been times where Andy should get all the scoop in regards to Fatima. But if Fatima says something about, okay, um, did Karen say anything or something like that, she'd be like, oh, I'm not going to discuss that with you. I said, no, you're supposed to be keep it both ways. Both ways. You stay out of it. I know y'all friends and you should be able to talk about your relationship and stuff like that. But when it pertains to Karen, no. She should have said, said, when she told her to promise you're not going to tell Karen, she spoke and said, I can't do that. I cannot do that. So that's what make her look bad, in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. Because you have been, you have been, like, that has been your friend. But that doesn't mean, because I be saying all the time, history don't mean nothing. It's somebody that could come up just like Fatima and have better intentions than anybody else. But in this case, I'm on Karen's side because you could have told her that, um, I mean, I know you promised, but this is why this is why you remove yourself from this situation. Because, like, if somebody was saying, which Fatima didn't say, but Zach jumped to the conclusion and was like, she set me up, she set me up, but Fatima presented it with it after Angela presented her with it. So I said, look, they, everybody going to have to get their friends straight at this point. Everybody. Angela's going to be have to be set straight. That uh, the dude on uh, Zatima, he going to have to be set straight. They're going to have to stay out the default relationship. This is how it's going to work. But, yeah, I said, should Andy remove herself from the middle of Karen and Fatima drama? And I said, until Karen at that space, especially when until Karen is at that space where she no longer is that crazy or Zach focused or whatever, that's going to have to be off the table for discussion. The, the best way to do that because regardless of if you like the Karen character or how she going about things because she is she has been tripping and we still don't know yet if she set up this whole thing because if she did I mean it wouldn't be shocking but at the same time it'd be messed up because you act like the letters have really done some done um done good for you or whatever or helped you or benefit you or whatever you want to say but I'm hoping that she actually didn't do it and it's just this big old misunderstanding. And if it is this big old misunderstanding, I'm hoping that, that I'm about to say Angela, I'm hoping that Fatima set them straight and let them know, okay, don't bring me no more mess. Like, I understand you, I would want to know if my man is hugging his ex or kissing on his ex or whatever, but he wasn't even kissing her. The lady who took, whoever took that doggone picture could have told uh, them that. They wasn't, I saw the whole thing. She kissed him on the jaw and she asked for the hug or whatever. But yeah, uh, what else I got to say about that? Mainly just like in this situation, I'm on Karen's side because you shouldn't have promised to keep that. You should have told her, since you telling me not to tell Karen, if it has something to do with her, um, I can't promise that I won't say anything because if it has something to do with her, because imagine if this was a whole nother thing. And she, Karen was in a relationship with Aaron. And, you know, Fatima with Zach or whatever. And Zach, I mean, let me rephrase that. Zach is with Fatima. And that would be considered cheating if they was kissing or whatever. So that would have been a whole nother scenario. But y'all come in y'all thoughts down below. Until next time, deuces.